Hi guys, it's Sam and I thought I would vlog this weekend. I go back to work very soon. I work in a public school so summer break is essentially over and I thought it would be fun to document the last weekend before I go back and I'm excited. I'm sad of course. Summer break is awesome. It's nice to have off and I just love not having to wake up at the crack of dawn and sit in rush hour traffic in the morning but I am very excited to go back and I thought I would vlog it so that's what I'm gonna do I'm getting ready to go out I don't have that much time so I'm just gonna put a little bit of foundation powder foundation on this is the it cosmetics celebration uh, foundation illumination this one is one of my favorites and I feel like I like to use a puff with it it comes with this brush which I don't really like this brush everybody loves it cosmetics brushes but the ones that I've gotten I don't know I'm not a huge fan but I'm gonna put some on and I just want to show you the coverage that it gives I'll just do one side and then I'll I'm gonna do the rest myself on my own well I am doing this on my own but not on camera and this one is in the color medium And I like to do it with the puff because because I feel like it gives me fuller coverage. And my chin really needs it. And then I even drag it down. So I did half this side and then you guys could see. So it takes away the under eye and it covers up any redness of acne or um, just hyperpigmentation I feel like it does a really great job you could totally tell the difference and they're usually I get this from QVC usually you get lots of uh, there's always having sales like get two for an insanely great price so really recommend that I don't think it's rated as high as I thought it would have and um, I didn't do it this time, but if you want to make it long wearing, I was watching a Wayne Goss video, Goss video, and you, not that you could do it with this, but um, I'm sure you could put it, before you put this on, you would spray, I don't know why this wants to go crooked, I'm sorry, it's just going to be crooked. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, I was complaining about it being crooked, wow. Uh, you spray, his trick was, you spray your... A little bit of setting spray with your foundation and you mix it and I did that for the cruise and I think that worked really well and I'm sure you could do it with, with powder foundation you just spray it on your face and then you put it right over instantly after you put that on you put the powder foundation hope that made sense we get ready and I'll vlog the rest of the, uh, the weekend okay oh, blah, blah. <laughs> I didn't know what I was gonna say so I came back just to talk about one product and I realized I had my my cell phone it has like a beauty function it was all the way at 8 and I'm like why does my face look so smooth because it's not that smooth so I lowered it I didn't bring it to zero completely but I lowered it so you could kind of see more of my lines and pores um, so I you know my face has been breaking out really really terribly like just and it's mostly over here and I've also gotten it there and on my lip places that I never got it really before but primarily over here and it's been the hard cystic you can't even pop it if you wanted to because it's not on the surface you have to wait for it to come to the surface which takes weeks and I've been fighting this for the past two months like just really bad acne and not even that time of the month either just all the time and I think it's related to stress and all those kinds of things so I been trying everything and then I decided um, just because I remember always hearing about vitamin C and uh, hearing all the positive effects and I had it I just never used it but I decided to finally try this was a free one that was sent to sent to me with the roller the jade rollerball and it's by Jazz Claire and it's vitamin C vitamin C 20% plus hyaluronic acid facial serum and I swear I've been using it maybe for three four days and I feel like my skin has really improved just by the three days three four days that I've been using it so I'm gonna keep on using it and I'm excited because it's just I've been trying everything and I am impressed by this already so we'll see if it keeps up you know how your skin likes something and then it decides that oh, 
I'm used to it so I don't want to really like it anymore so we'll see about that but I would just want to talk a little bit about it and let me know what if you use vitamin C what's your favorite brand and yeah Ava what's in here what's in here hey. come here hey. you can't get mad at it what's in here <laughs> this is Ava uh, flea and tick and it has a bone in there and she knows They gave two this time. Okay, she's not getting both of these. She's gonna get half of one. <laughs> okay, good job. At Costco and our cart is already so full. I'm getting my favorite brand of shrimp. No, not brand, but favorite. There's a few options here. But this one is my favorite. I would get more, but there's no room. And I just found the hard-boiled eggs that I've been looking for. Super excited about that. Steve just made a fool of himself, screaming that we don't have to. Yeah, not like these poor-ass fools. That <laughs> we don't have eggs. to boil our own eggs anymore. <laughs> Look at what nice Costco one? has. And then somebody opened the box. This stuff you get. That looks really cool. I think I'm going to pass, though. Not bad. That's the damage and underneath there too. This is me waiting to return something in the Costco returns line. Always seems so slow whenever I come to this specific uh, Costco. We're at, let's see, this place. <laughs> and I got a whole bunch. It's Korean and I feel like Japanese maybe. Yum. Guys, what did we just get for free? Gingerbread. Yeah. <laughs> they felt bad because they basically have no food here. <laughs> well, we're at closing time. <laughs> no, we came at nine o'clock. They close at ten. Okay, doing a quick call. Oh, before that, hi Ava. Hi Ava, look at me. Anyway, okay, peaches, sweet hearts, grapes. Bowen's chicken thighs, ground turkey, scallops, can't see it. Half and half, three berry blend, shrimp, organic kombucha pastille, raw honey, organic tomato paste, ragu, salsa. And this isn't everything, but I'll just show you what I have here. Uh, blue cheese crab, uh, blue cheese, <laughs> blue crab spread. The hard boiled eggs, which I'm super excited about. Love beets. Steve also wanted these salmon flakes for his eggs. Mushrooms, potatoes, the small potatoes. Asparagus, you can't beat the price. That's um, a 2.25 pound bag for like $6. Prosciutto. Turkey breast. I got this. I mean turkey. Yeah, turkey breast because it has it's nitrate free and it's good until October 18th, which is awesome. Um, we love these small peppers and then chicken and cheese burritos, organic uh, cage free eggs, I believe. And then the rotisserie chicken, which you can't beat. Um, we got toilet paper, Dawn soap. Um, I think that's most of it. So we did a really, we had a really great trip at Costco. Didn't get everything, but we got most. Guys, of all the places that Ava could be, look where she chooses to go. I mean, she looks super comfortable, right? 
double check how much I'll pay. Hi, Ava. Right, no, right there? Yeah, 140, 140. Really? Amazing, because I pay like $14 a month. Okay, it's time for us to go to bed, right, Ava? Say goodnight to the people. <laughs> Good night. Hey guys, it's Sam, and today is Saturday, and I just finished applying my setting spray. I'm about to go out, but I just want to do some finishing touches to my face. Uh, I'm not going to do much. I just have on my foundation, but I want to just put a little bit more effort today than I did yesterday. Yesterday, I just put foundation and a little bit of blush on. Um, we're going out. It's pretty late already. It's almost 6 o'clock, and we usually go out this late. I don't know. It's just the way... Um, it works out most of the time and today especially I, I had to take a nap because I wasn't feeling that great. I didn't get enough sleep yesterday and the way that Steve has to wake me up is so funny. He has to do it in a whisper or a light touch or I get scared. It's the funniest thing. It must be annoying for him. Um, and this summer when I've been not working and he's been working he has to wait he has to say goodbye and basically a whisper it's it's funny um but yeah i'm getting ready we're supposed to do a few things and i'll check you guys later oh and i quickly want to show you the Too Faced better than sex mascara how it looks on my eyes or my lashes I think it does a really great job. So, very happy with that. But still does not beat out my CoverGirl Lash Blast. But I do like this a lot. Check what came today. My first ever HelloFresh box. I'm super excited. It should make my first week going back to work easier in terms of making dinners at night. So, there's three din dinners in there. And I can't wait to try it out. Look at all this Shiba stuff. I pretend it was my face. That's what you should do in the picture. That's the store. <laughs> Such a cute store. Having some fun at Macy's. Look at this coat. It's a little too hot right now, but it's actually really cute. But I scratched my neck with the with the price tag. Trying stuff out in the dressing room. The back is what's really cute. But I don't know. I feel like this is too short. This looks cute on the rack, but I think it's too flowy. I tried a smaller size and I think it looks a little bit better, but I don't know. I'm gonna try, I have a black and white one I'm gonna try on and see. Okay, here's the black and white. I'm just not loving this. So, I don't think I'm gonna get either of them. Person's life, uh, bumper sticker. So cute. Cafe. Okay, we're on our way to eat, I think. I'm at TJ Maxx trying to look for a hobo bag. They have some really cute stuff. Backpacks are there. Okay, it was a bust at the shoe. Oh, at the clothes, but I'm looking at the shoes now. I don't really wear wedges, but these are cute too. Forty-nine dollars. Edelman's. And now I'm in the food section. And I'm I was looking for caramel sweetener and I found this skinny syrup zero calories. So I'm gonna get that. I was looking for acai berry and they have that. So I'm so excited because I want to make the pink drink from uh, Starbucks and then make the syrup. So that's it for right now. Let's struck out on the clothes and shoes and bags. That's the choo cheese salmon. Really cute, it's open, funny kind of criticism. And that's the red curry with tofu. Pad thai with, thai with shrimp, no peanuts. <laughs> uh, chili and sea bass. That's where we were. It was very good. 
stop is Wegmans and I just got this stuff. I'm gonna make the pink drink, so I found a few things for that and then just a little odds and ends. Love Wegmans. It's always so clean. I'm gonna do a quick Wegmans haul. I got coconut milk and white grape juice for the Starbucks pink drink, decaf coffee for my grandmother, cereal for my grandmother. Got these Power Crunch bars. I first tried them out at Costco and they were so good, but uh, Wegmans only sells either a box that was I felt like was way too much or um, they had singles so I thought I would try all the different singles they're really good taste like dessert so I got a few different flavors uh, wild berry cream salted caramel I'm obsessed with salted caramel right now uh, then I got these these are strip steak center cut and you get four for about 30 something dollars which is a great price I also saw this I got the Jason Lavender Body Wash. That looked really nice. And lavender is supposed to be calming. I thought for work that would be a nice treat at night. Uh, brown Cow. If you never tried this, best yogurt ever. Then some hot dogs I'm going to freeze for my grandmother. And then Talenti Sea Salt Caramel. And then I, all I did was go in for a bag of carrots. <laughs> and I got all this show you quickly the rest of my TJ Maxx and Home Goods. It was a store together, but I believe this is from the Home Goods section. Uh, see what I'm talking about about the salted caramel? So I got the classic salted caramel flavored coffee. It's the pod. And then maple syrup, which I showed. The acai berry for the pink drink that I'm going to try to make now. Skinny syrup. And then I picked up thin and crispy banana chips. Melinda. And then naturals, sour bears. So a few things for school and then a few things for now. Okay, so first thing you're supposed to do is take the acai berry and put four packets into a two cup measuring cup. And then pour the hot water. I'm gonna put a little bit extra. And then you wait for that to steep and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, while I'm waiting for the acai berry to cool, the tea to cool, I'm going to make chicken stock. So I already have uh, the leftover. I went to Costco yesterday and I got the rotisserie chicken. And from the bones or the carcass, I, I froze it earlier today because I couldn't make the stock right then and there. So I froze it after I cut up the chicken and I'm going to use that. Celery, carrots, oops, white onion. And I will put that all into this pot with water and then that will simmer for a little while and then we'll have delicious stock and then I'll make chicken soup tomorrow. Oh my goodness, guys. This is so rich and so decadent. It's amazing. Highly recommend if you like caramel. So I was doubling the recipe, but I didn't double the packets, but I did leave them in for longer. I let this cool a little bit. Now I'm going to add two cups of the the Welch's white grape juice because it says to add one cup the recipe that I'm following and then I guess we add this the strawberries and you can add agave I'm gonna see how it tastes after and see if I need to add a sweetener okay I'm definitely gonna have to tweak the recipe it doesn't look like the pink drink or taste like it it's not bad but it definitely doesn't taste like the Starbucks drink the chicken soup is boiling. I turned it down. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more to a simmer. I'm going to add these two chicken bou bouillon cubes to the soup. And then uh, in like an hour or so, I'm going to check on it and see if I need to simmer it some more. Oh my goodness. I just spent like, I don't know how many minutes trying to rearrange this fridge so that everything could fit. The soup is there for tomorrow for me to make. The three HelloFresh meals are <laughs> there. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is a big enough fridge for us, but I just, you know, with the Costco trip and the HelloFresh, it was a little hard to get everything together, but I got it and that's the last thing I wanted to do tonight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.
Hey guys, so it's Sunday and I'm trying out the that caramel coffee that I got from Home Goods CJ Max yesterday and I'm making a quick chicken soup before I think we're leaving for a barbecue. Um and I just put um this is just a variation of a chicken soup that I do. I put in mushrooms. That gives it a really nice flavor, and that's what I do sometimes. Uh, I added white onion, carrots, and celery. If I had a parsnip or a turnip, I would definitely add that in. And I put even a little bit of garlic just to add a different flavor. That's the chicken stock from yesterday, and then I'll cut up the pieces of chicken from Costco and put it in and then if somebody wants to make noodles for themselves they can do that but I'm just starting this so that the vegetables could simmer in the broth and then it'll be ready very soon and here is the soup all cooking together I think I'm gonna check on it every 15 to 30 minutes because I was as you saw, I was cooking the veggies in the pot already, so they don't need to cook uh, for as long. And I like the caramelizations that some of the veggies get. But it looks really good for a super fast meal, and we like soup here, so that's why we even have it during the summertime too. And I could freeze some of it. Oh, I like these rainbow shits. Ooh, look. Dessert at the barbecue. Oh, and a picture by our man Walker. So sweet. <laughs> Walker. <laughs> no, not in there. They're cheering. They're just saying, yay. Just finished at Lowe's. They were kicking us out. But we got this really cool plant. What's this plant called? I don't know. Zam, I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's really pretty. And then, see, really hardy looking. Got hose, Drano, and house numbers. I want to give you a closer look. I know that was a terrible shot of the plant, but it's so pretty, and it looks like it's gonna be pretty hardy. Our money plant basically died. So we got a new one. That is the name of it. Plants of Steel, Durable and Low Maintenance. And I got this one because there's already one of them sprouting. And then, oh, hi Ava. I haven't seen her all day because of the barbecue. And she rushes to the basement as soon as you take her out in the morning. There's the hose that we got because the one I ordered from Amazon that was like that flexi one broke. And then here's the house numbers. Ava, what's that? <laughs> hey guys, it's Sam and I just got back home from the barbecue and Lowe's. I didn't get I didn't get to film too much of the barbecue. You would have seen the amazing desserts that they put out. Uh, but I just felt uncomfortable filming someone else's home, their barbecue, and their kids. So I just didn't film that much. Um, and I think I showed you my shoes. I sprayed bug spray on them. They got totally messed up. Uh, most of the shoe looked like this. Which I didn't even think that that could happen. But it could. And I'm not saying Old Navy is the best quality. But they, they last for at least one or two seasons. And I um love these shoes i these are the second pair that i have of these the first pair i got were these they're so comfortable and they look super cute um so just a word of warning to you guys just spray your bug spray if you're mosquito prone before you put the shoes on not after i the lysol wipes got some of it most of it off actually but i'm gonna try to go back there with something like dawn soap and really get in there and see if I can get it completely off, off, but definitely looks better than what it looked like before. It looked like somebody spilled paint on my feet, so 
glad that I'm able, I was able to get most of the white stuff off and now I'm gonna do some laundry and try to kind of go to sleep early tonight I'm really hoping because the next day after tomorrow after Labor Day I go back to work so I'll talk to you guys soon sorry about the dryer noise we are going to try and switch over from dryer sheets to these dryer balls which are better uh, for the environment if any of you have experience with these let me know um, they're super cute I just thought I would share with you so adorable and we're going to see how these work out after these are finished I think Steve's actually already using these but I'm gonna keep on using these because we have them until they're finished and then I'll start using those we decided to get chicken and rice but not Steve he's being good right mm -hmm. mm, this is so good chicken and rice you guys won't believe it but I decided to make scones English scones it's a New York Times recipe and that's the sample. It tastes really good. The only thing missing is the clotted cream. And then those are the last three that need to be cooked. And I'm doing it in a toaster oven because my oven is broken. Hey guys, it's Monday. Happy Labor Day. I am showing you my lunch. This is Love Beats from Costco. I grilled the asparagus. I added red onion, tomatoes from the garden, a little bit of blue cheese because that can be overpowering, salt and pepper. The dressing is extra virgin olive oil and some uh, juice from a lemon. And I just made this up on a whim and it's actually very tasty. I really wanted to use the beets. I enjoy, When I went on the cruise, I was never a fan of beets. I liked it, but I wasn't like, um, it wasn't something that I love, but I really like them now. And I've been, I, I mentioned the cruise because I had, whenever I went to the buffet and had a salad, I always added the beets and I really liked um, the way that it tasted so I just have been wanting it and I saw that Costco had it and you could even in the package it says you can roast it you can grill it you can add it to salad sandwiches and if I did the salad again I would definitely add another type of green maybe arugula or even spinach it's pretty tasty and uh, if I had goat cheese I would have thrown that in there instead of the blue cheese uh, but very tasty. I think it's somewhat healthy and I'm gonna enjoy it That beet salad was so good. I would definitely make that again. I Actually, I came on here to talk to you guys about how I kind of get ready to go back to work after being off for the summer and you know, I just, it's kind of similar to what I do on vacation. And this is not to say that I do this stuff once a year and then I won't do it again. Um, for instance, today I tweezed and I trimmed my face um, with, the, with these products here. And I do that pretty much every week or every few days just so that's always maintained and under control. But um, I especially do it the day before I go back. And I also today cut my nails. I like to keep my nails short just because I don't want to scratch any children. I feel like that's happened before and you just never want to do that. Um, and then of course accidents happen and they, they have scratched me as well but I definitely would not want to add to scratching them. And that's something that I do pretty much all year round. I don't. I actually don't like having long nails. They feel like dirt gets trapped in there. And when you're working with little kids, dirt is always trapped under your fingernails. I also cut my toenails. That's not necessary. But although, if you like to wear open toe shoes, which I don't, your feet get stepped on as well. Um, I like to keep my toenails short, short. And then I also last week I colored my hair, and I do that. A week before about a week before just because when I use black hair dye and just it and it's to touch up my roots because my hairs are growing in and um, like color stays on the hair particle and on the scalp there's sometimes patches so it looks kind of crazy so I like to give it time to 
fade away and not look as crazy. Uh, so I did that and then with the hair coloring, I don't do that very often. There was a point where I used to do it like every six weeks, but now I go like maybe every three months or even longer. It just depends on the mood that I'm feeling. Like if I really care about it, I will color it, uh, I will color it sooner. If I don't, I will let it go on for a while. Um, yeah, so just depending on my mood. And then later today, which I'll start doing before work every evening, is picking out my clothes for tomorrow. Usually I keep the same bag, so I'm going to get my a backpack ready for tomorrow. And it's just easier on my back to, I'm kind of over the shoulder thing. Um, I wear that on the weekends because I don't wear it for long periods of time, but I figure um, I'm going to be walking a lot. Uh, especially the first week because I have to go back and forth from um, the main school to where I hope I'm still working which is another location uh, as a parallel you just never know where you're gonna be you hope that you're with the same teacher that you've been with if you enjoy that partnership uh, but you just don't know you need to go where they need you um, the only benefit to well not the only benefit to wanting to be in a pre-k classroom is not a lot of people want to do pre-k it's a lot of work um, and um, just a little, like, you know, I want to finish stuff around the house that I have on my to-do list, uh, which I don't have to do it before school starts. I just want to get, before things build up, I want to get some of the little things out of the way. And then, um, I think that's about it. I want, this stuff doesn't, a lot of the stuff that I'm mentioning doesn't have to be done today. I just like to do some of the things the day before and like this week I'll bring some things that I want to uh, bring to work like my Tupperware and there's extra clothes uh, it doesn't need to be done tomorrow but I am gonna do it sometime this week and as far as lunches I do bring my own lunch from home but like last year I would go out to I would get lunch out every Friday I'm probably not gonna do that that often but definitely tomorrow I'm going to eat out. I just don't want to have to bring a lot of stuff with me tomorrow um, in terms of food and drink. But I'm going to bring like my coffee. i got to get my coffee mugs out. Uh, my travel mugs, I mean, out. And then, hmm, I think that's about it for right now. The, uh, the most important thing I feel like, which I totally failed on, uh, is sleeping. So I would recommend that towards the end of summer break you try to go to sleep a little bit earlier and wake up earlier I failed miserably on that and I am naturally a night owl, owl although I wish I could be a morning person and wake up and uh, but for some I don't know like my mind is really active and not to get into too much of that but I just I did a terrible job and I would highly recommend that you practice uh, that way before work. It's like a, for me, it's always a goal that I set for myself, uh, like a New Year's resolution resolution kind of thing, to try to get better sleeping habits, and it's so hard for me, um, but I'm working on it, and it's just something that I will always work towards, and yeah, so I'm just going to do a few things, like I mentioned, around the house, and hopefully I'll get some more fun clips. Um, yeah, it's here. I can't believe it. I can and I can't. I'm so excited. This is the last package of the Costco brand Kirkland uh, face wipes that I have. Um, I'm excited just because it's, it was a huge box. I gave a few away, but I mostly did it by myself. And I do like this, but I found that I kind of like the bombs better to take off my makeup because they take off everything, uh, including my mascara so i'm glad that this is the last one and that i could move on to the other makeup uh remover products that i have and then i want to show you so i did clean this with dawn soap and that is what's left not as bad as before um but just remember don't put bug spray on while you have shoes on I had a few things to do uh, on the computer that I wanted to share with you. So I just uploaded my HelloFresh 
first box unboxing and then I needed to uh, for my imperfect produce I am able to customize today and tomorrow so I these are I think this is what I'm gonna get so there's a list and you can they it's already there's a they have stuff in a box for you, but you could take out and you can uh, add in things. And they don't just sell fruit and veggies. They have, as you can tell, as you can see here, they have other things as well. Um, so I did that. And then I skipped for the week of September the 7th. I skipped uh, for next week. So here I have HelloFresh and then I'm going to cook my own thing. And I thought that um, I would just save. I knew that I wasn't going to have HelloFresh every week. I, I want to really save that for weeks that I'm super busy. So um, that's what I'm thinking about. in my. That's what I thought in my head. Anyway, and then here I have notes. Uh, Imperfect Produce and HelloFresh went to skip. Uh, and I have that note on my phone as well. And it just so happens that they're both on Monday. So that's awesome uh, that I can decide. And then here uh, for the Imperfect Produce, I wanna, I'm want to i going to get the bok choy, cauliflower, and green beans. So I want to incorporate that into next week's meal plan. Hey, guys. So I thought I would end the vlog here. I have my bedtime tea. I'm trying that. And hopefully that will help me go to bed. This says here, love, compassion, and kindness are the anchors of, anchors of life. And this is a yogi tea. It, I believe it's called bedtime soothing caramel something i'm not sure but oh wait i brought the tea bag with me so i could tell you hello soothing caramel bedtime so i had the wrong order this is it says supports a good night's sleep we'll see i hope you enjoyed my last weekend of summer break before i go back to work tomorrow and i hope you also had a great summer vacation or got had we're able to get some time away. I'm finishing editing this video, so I wanted to do this last clip. I have to take a shower. I want to get my laundry from downstairs. I folded it, but I didn't bring it up. And, you know, all that kind of uh, little things I need to get done before I actually go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.